came across this in one of my electronic products books. Ever wondered how an airport scanner works? Here's what you need to know. First, know that the two types of scanners used in airports include millimeter, radio wave, and backscatter scanners, according to radioologyinfo.org. Millimeter radio wave scanners use millimeter radio waves to similar to those generated by cell phones. This type of scanner does not use x-rays. The second type, backscatter scanners, use low intensity x-rays. In most x-ray scanners, two sources are used. One is suspended on the top, whereas the other stays at the side. This is so that there are two different points of view of the same package, which can help identify an object that may be blocked from one side and efforts to hide any contraband are eliminated. Typical x-ray systems that you find at an airport provide two levels of x-ray intensity. The two level, two plane x-ray combined with a central sensor provides more information about package content than any conventional x-ray system. The information is sent to the computer that it's connected to, which identifies the contents using identification algorithms. The algorithms calculate the z-effective number, the number of protons in a nucleus, and mass density of the objects in the bag. Some objects have identical z-effective numbers and mass density values individually, but when combined, the identity of an unknown substance is evident. The denser the material, the darker the color appears. So obviously, metal, 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 metal. Water bottle, plastic, glasses, probably plastic. And that is how the airport x-ray machine works.